<laughs> and welcome to this Friday morning. If you like bluegrass, you're about to hear a great little group in here this morning. But, JC, what's first? Hey, before I get going here, y'all all from Danville, right? Tell, give a shout out to Gilmer and get a white shot of them, Corey. I gotta ask y'all a personal question. Uh -oh. How many of y'all have watched this show? Oh boy. <laughs> Don't be afraid to, it's not an embarrassment. Raise your hand, you have seen it, right? Okay, one. Sometimes it's an embarrassment. Don't y'all get up early? <laughs> we'll talk to them in just a moment. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM on a Friday morning edition of Cooper & Company Live. As you know, it's Rodeo Weekend. The 30th Annual Sheriff Mike Blakely, Limestone County Sheriff's Deputy Rodeo gets underway tonight. Well, actually gets underway this morning at 10 o'clock with a special needs exceptional rodeo. We'll be out there video rolling. We'll share that with you exclusively right here next week on ZTV 11. And you'll see a one-hour production that Brad will put together as soon as he gets it done. And we all work tonight. And you'll see it only on ZTV 11. But so uh, get out there. The weather's going to be picture perfect for the rodeo. We're going to hear from Grassy Divide in just a moment. After they all finally got here this morning. So we'll check in with them in just a little. They're going to entertain us this morning. Plus we got video from the slack competition yesterday. When a lot of kids were out there uh, from, uh, I think, uh, Coward Elementary. They were all out there yesterday. Join me today, two real cowboys. Greg Crow and Tom <laughs> McAllister. <laughs> Greg, I remember meeting you at the rodeo one night. Yep. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you what I was gonna do. <laughs> Under the bleachers. <laughs> yeah. Tom, thanks scared. for delivering Chick-fil-A. You're welcome. I think Matthew's back in he, town. He they adopted that little girl. Is he back? Yeah, they said he was home in his own little bed. He's been gone for three weeks to China. They adopted a 18-month-old Chinese uh, little girl over there, wasn't That's it? That's right, Abby. We have her up here on the show coming up for a lot. I doubt if he's going to make it this morning. Dr. Alan Coleman, she'll be joining us later on this morning from Coleman Dental Group. Frank's on the phone, 230-4988. Gloria's got hers. I, here's mine, 230-1122. If you got anything important I need to know about, because I'm about done for the day as soon as I get through another 55 minutes here this morning. So let's get it cranking. The weather going to be picture perfect, and we got bluegrass, and the song, only song they seem to know is Rocky Top. Oh. How's that going to go, Frank? Not too good. All right, here's Gloria with the weather. <laughs> I think that's going to be their first song this morning is Rocky Top. But 62, 63 degrees out there this morning, and you know it is going to be quite warm. Maybe a little bit warm for a rodeo, but we'll have a good time anyway. Don't forget, today at 10 o'clock, we'll be at the Special Needs Rodeo. Hope to see you out there. One of my favorite events of the year. High temperatures today around 85 low of 61, plenty of sunshine. Tomorrow, 83, low of 60, plenty of sunshine. And the rest of the forecast looking wonderful for the whole weekend. Rain returns on possibly Tuesday and Wednesday. 230-4988. JC? I'm trying to get in my seat. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, trying to get in. Greg, how are you? Doing fine, dude. Tom? I'm good. Ready to go? I am. Hey, boys, good news for people like mm -mm. for people like y'all in the real estate business. Mortgage rates at 3.79. Good. That's low. Mm -hmm. How long are they going to stay that way, Greg? Uh, well, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Huntsville area home uh -huh. sales, Tom, Hunts morning in Huntsville time rose by almost 32% in April. That's good. And, Tom, on this day five years ago, <laughs> oh, man. we moved into the biggest house you ever sold here in Athens, <laughs> Alabama. It took three that's days right. to move in. We were exhausted. Hush. Beat it. I got the work to do. As y'all know, Gloria's been raising to growing tomatoes. So she's got something about that high out back. Show that's a picture cute. of them. Here's a picture of them right here. Yeah, that's that's Gloria's tomato plants on our back, you know, right off the porch there, right before the pool. I cut this out of the paper. Frank, you may not believe it. It says here, a man named Don Look Campbell of Georgia Mountain over in Marshall County has been gardening sixty plus years and has never gotten a ripe tomato this early. He got First ripe tomato, April 29th, Frank. He got four more last Friday. Hmm. All ready. Now, when do you expect yours to be ready? Frank says by July 4th. Yeah. July 4th? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to wait a long time. Man, it looks like they're overtaking the backyard now. <laughs> like, you know. All right. Yesterday, what we, keep them alive. After we shot some stuff over to rodeo. As always, if it's over 80 or 90, Gloria's out there trying to lay out by the pool. <laughs> well, somebody else joined her yesterday. Here's a shot of Zorro taking it easy. <laughs> there he is right there with the fountain in the background. He hasn't me made. White boys like me have to be in the shade. But uh, <laughs> there he is right there. Laid up, Greg. What do you think? All right. Now, that's, a that's what you call a dog's life. Mm -hmm. They got it made. All right. Let me go through a few of those. Hey. Now. Greg, you've been around here a long time, Tom. What's up with the, on the front page of the News Courier this morning, they got that one-hour seafood sign that's up at the LNS. What was up with that? 
Uh, that picture right there, you've yeah. seen it. The bond's secure. Yeah, it's been there. Frank, what that used to be? I'm guessing a seafood place. Well, one-hour cleaners. Oh, one-hour cleaners. You can't get seafood in one hour. You just get uh, cleaning over there in one hour. All right. You know, they're supposed to have sold that. The county bought it, didn't it's it? City, I thought. County. County. Well, county, they bought it. All right, let's talk about the big news going on this morning. You know, being a Bama fan, you don't like to see stuff like this, but show that picture of Rolando McClain. He don't look like he's smiling too much, does he? <clears throat> no. Well, Found good. guilty, 180 days in jail. For you folks who can't do math, that's six months. Shouldn't be acting like a thug. Uh, they're going to immediately appeal it. He, he brought in an attorney from Denver. Like it matters. This, uh, this attorney had represented other big NFL names through the past. But yeah, brought that in, and now he is, uh, if it goes before a jury, which this guy, the attorney said this is a meaningless trial. This was a meaningless Senate judge. He pulled a gun on someone and threatened to kill him. Shot it right next to his ear. Exactly. Uh, Should be found guilty. And then threatened to beat the guy up. Not only has he got to worry about that, but here's what uh, Kevin Skrabinski out of the Birmingham News says about this this morning. He said this time Rolando McClain wasn't smiling or snarling at whatever he was doing in that infamous photograph from December 1st when he was handcuffed and arrested. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. He was far more subdued yesterday as he walked out of court to a long list of accomplishments that include Buckus Award, First Team All-American, National Title, First Round Draft Choice Greg. The former Alabama star added this to his resume. Third degree assault, menacing, reckless endangerment, dis discharging a firearm in the city limits. If convicted of all those charges, uh, he could be in some big trouble with the NFL also. I hope this will wake him up. Should. Yeah. I mean, this is to Straighten up. What, what is it about people that want to do that? Showing out, I guess. I don't know. Stupidity. Hey, I told y'all about Slack. That was yesterday. We'll have an exclusive video of that coming up. They got Gary Cosby Jr. got some great photographs in the paper this morning. Now, that guy there, now, Greg, <laughs> he looks uh, a little hefty to be out there bulldogging. That ain't Blakely, is it? <laughs> no, he, he tried that one. He tried that, he tried that on his 50th birthday. He about killed him. <laughs> he remember remember that? No more. <laughs> he did try that on his 50th birthday. He, he tried did. that. I'm getting ready to come to you in just a few minutes. Y'all give me another second over and I'll be through, okay? I know y'all are anxiously uh, getting ready to go. They're trying to stay awake. All right. I've got <laughs> to do this Dear Jamie today. Uh-oh. What is it? He wouldn't tell me, so this scares uh -oh. me. It's actually out of news this morning. I am married to Jamie. Oh, gosh. A wonderful man, good looking, living legend in television. Oh, great. Everybody knows him. He's just as good as a get. <laughs> and he's got a problem. This? He was previously married more times than once. <laughs> he got a major trust issue because his ex wife was fooling around on him. I can handle most of this, but the one thing has become worse over the past couple of years. Uh oh. Don't forget now, he's a wonderful man, living legend. <laughs> Just ask him. He's got this idea that I wear outfits that show too much skin and other men might be looking. <laughs> I don't wear clothes like that, liar. In fact, I gave away everything I used to him that he didn't like. Spaghetti strap, short skirts. <laughs> he still says I look too provocative. I wear only pants and high neck shirts with sleeves. <laughs> and that's still not appropriate enough for him. I can't become a nun. <laughs> I offer to let him shop for me. He refuses. I don't want to keep fighting about something so dumb. I know it's due to his cheating ex-wife. Go figure. I've done as much as possible to show him that I love and respect him. What more can I do, dear Jamie? Get you to quit picking out some of my outfits, probably. Oh, man. He has become obsessed with controlling your appearance, and this is unhealthy. First of all, the day you tell me how to fix my hair, forget it. I didn't marry you for you cooking, okay? There's one good thing about that. Uh, we'll talk to y'all about other uh, Her Christmas yeah, present is still in the oven? Yeah, still in the oven. That's one yeah, place she does it. All right, y'all ready? Hmm. All right. They're good, too. From Danville, Alabama. Grassy Divide. That is correct, right? Yes. We're going to talk to each and every one of them in just a little bit. That'll be coming up in just a moment.
cover up. Let's go local and love it on this Friday morning. We'll be right back. We're about to hear some good bluegrass music on a Friday morning. Y'all, hang on. Local and love it. 